So tomorrow, May 9th, me and a bunch of friends are going to see Coheed and Cambria and The Deer Hunter in Boston. And we are all super pumped. It's going to be a killer show. I've seen The Deer Hunter a million times already, and they're always amazing. Uh, I've never seen Coheed before, but they're they're uh, unreal. So I'm really looking forward to going. Only problem is, it says right on my ticket that I can't bring a camera. And... I was going to bring my GoPro for all of this, but like, I don't think that's something I even want to risk dealing with. So I'll probably be able to grab a little bit on my iPhone, but other than that, probably best to just be cool about it. So I am back in the basement, and this time with a little DIY project, I've got my sous vide cooker, which I'm not even going to begin to explain here. but. I will link to something in the description. And I got this awesome uh, like five gallon tote pretty much with a lid. So um, what I want to do is cut out a space for the cooker to fit in the lid. So I've got my rotary tool, I've got a marker, and I'm going to try to DIY this sucker and make myself a custom sous vide cooking container. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Success! I think I'm gonna have more cutting to do. Yeah. Almost. Hey! Nice. Alright, let's just clean it up, I guess. Last night was the Coheed show in Boston. Is this? Yeah. So much rock. Um, I am exhausted. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. That's my coffee maker beeping, telling me it is ready for me. The Deer Hunter was great. Uh, the venue was cool. It was like semi outdoor. But what was not cool was that it was like 40 degrees last night. <clears throat> so we were a little chilly. Even had some like last minute additions to our. Our squad rolling up to the show, which was exciting. So, a friend of ours who always wanted to see Coheed finally got to go. And man, it was great. Oh, and the other thing that was like <clears throat> kind of a bummer is that I obviously could have brought my camera and been totally fine, but I was trying to be a smart, uh, responsible human being and try to follow the rules. But I got a little clip of the deer hunter on my phone, and here's what that looks like. They ended with, she's so heavy. Awesome. And then just for some reason, I was not really thinking about recording any other bits of the show for the purposes of my vlog. So I just kind of left my phone in my pocket like a dummy. And I don't know, maybe next time. <laughs> So it's, um, it is the 14th of, of, oh God, of May. And, um, I, I went out with some friends yesterday and I was going to bring my GoPro to the brewery, a new brewery we hadn't been to before. And I was going to shoot some stuff for this vlog and I get there, turn on the GoPro and it tells me there's no SD card inside. So that was a bummer. So now it's rainy as all get out. Uh, and it's Sunday morning and I'm here getting a haircut. Keen observers will note I'm not wearing my glasses uh, because I have to take them off anyway to get my hair cut so they can, you know, cut the hair. How's this look? And I got to constantly like glasses on and off. It's a day of bummers. I'm, I'm bummed I didn't have the, the memory card and the camera. I'm bummed it's rainy. I'm bummed it the weekend is almost over. And I'm bummed I'm not sure what else to put in this vlog because the brewery trip was going to be a kind of a fairly decent part of that. 
Um, <clears throat> so, I don't know. Since I totally failed at bringing my camera to the brewery the other day, I thought now might be a good time to kind of go over my guitar pedal board and set up uh, again, it's been a while since I've done something like this, so I thought now would be a good time to go over it since all this has been updated. Let's check it out. So this is my main pedal board. I have another very tiny one up in my office for home use, but if I'm playing a show or jamming with friends or recording or doing anything serious, this is what I bring. And of course it always starts with the tuner. From there we are moving on up to this. This is um a momentary switch with a volume pot. My friend Alex at Copper Sound made that, and he also made this, which is a cool switcher for my AC30. So we move from this stutter switch to my volume, then to a MXR Script Custom Shop Phase 90 thinger, over to EHX Soul Food. Uh, hopping on down EP Booster from Exotic, this is just like for even more. Plimsoul, this is my totally main rock sound. This probably isn't going to sound the greatest on the GoPro, but what are you going to do? Small clone, always great. Uh, Old Blood Noise Endeavors Procession Reverb. What makes this thing really great is I can push this switch here and it will hold my note infinitely. This is a BYOC, Build Your Own Clone uh, Compressor. This and then the uh, TC Electronic Flashback X4. I've had this thing for a long time. So it's um, Monday the 15th, and kinda, I'm going to wrap this up here. Um, this is only my second episode, but I'm already kind of learning a lot. Like, make sure you bring your memory card with your camera. And. This episode did not really go the way I wanted. I mean, I know I, I don't have any, like, expectations or goals or whatever. It still kind of missed the mark, I think. It's still fun, but I, I, it's not really what I was going for. So, sorry about that. It's also weirdly long, which I did not anticipate. But, eh, live and learn, right? Alright, see you next time.